Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to The Basement as I'm about to embark on episode two of season one. Is there gonna be more than one season or is this it? I don't know, but whatever it is, it's the second episode of Has Been Hotel streaming out on Amazon Prime where we have met our protagonists in their everyday world, which is Charlie in hell. The goal, redeem souls to get up to heaven to save them from being exterminated. Although how she plans on doing that, we have not yet heard. Also, so these angels can basically come down and just obliterate anybody in hell, but they discovered somebody was actually able to kill an angel. So now this is turning the tides. So the angels have always been safe during this extermination. What the hell? <laughs> That's not even to say, but seriously, what the hell? And these angels do not seem very angelic. And they seem very sinful as well. The world, I'm, I'm intrigued by this world and I'd like to learn more about it. And thank you so much for being with me as we learn together. Although you probably have already seen this, but now you can watch me learn it as well. So thank you for being with me. If you haven't already, subscribe would be nice as would a like. And also remember full episode watch along is available on Patreon where I would also like to see you. Okay, y'all, I don't know what we're gonna get, but let's just get to it. So the extermination is coming in six months instead of a year. Nothing we can't handle, just angels cutting our timetable in half. And next time when they cut the time in half again and again. Oh yeah, oh yeah, mm-hmm. People are already freaking out about the news. Look at what's happening in the Doomsday District. Uh, what is a donkey show? Oh, hey. Like I said, everyone's losing their shit. Yeah, that's true. Sinners are desperate. Maybe desperate enough to try anything to escape the extermination. Well, look at you go, Vaggie. Veggie, Vaggie. <laughs> well, it's not like people are just going to show up on our doorstep. Oh! Ten Sanasta, come and face it! Oh, there you are. I am the great serpent. Ooh, he's a bad boy. For when I've slain you, the almighty V's will finally acknowledge me as their equal. Who are the V's? Wait, who are the V's? <laughs> oh, nobody important. Oh, looks like they have a tower. Fox Tech. Trust us. Your mind. Of, yeah, I fucked your sister. So what is brought to you by Vox Tech? Vox Tech. Trust us. <laughs> Mr. Vox, what are your thoughts on the new extermination deadline? My dear people, we at Vox Tech Enterprises have always been at the forefront of innovation. We are pleased to announce Vox Tech Angelic Security is coming soon. That sounds contradictory. Uh, what did we begin working on angelic security? 30 seconds ago. <laughs> so Mr. Vox, was he always a demon? Was he like something else on Earth? Or has he always been down there? Tell me, where's our hot-headed friend now? Up in his tower, waiting for a flat-faced prince to calm him down. No, no, hideous, I want to die. Ew, <gasps> yes, that's the one. Oh, looks like you have everything under control here. Of course I do, fuck you. Now shoo, take care of the piss baby. <laughs> Angel dust, who the hell else would I be talking about? Without me, he's just a bag of meat with some mildly entertaining holes. Uh, Angel quit? No, it's worse, he moved. You're not going over there. That slippery twink is going to remember who owns him. Our brand is perfection. And what do you think chasing whores around town will do for our image? Do you want people thinking you can't control your employees? No. You still have him under contract. He isn't going anywhere. Well, I really wanted to shoot someone. Well, let me call up the lowest earners this month. Oh, you know me too well. <laughs> What is their thing? You know, Angel isn't the only one spending time at this ratty hotel with the devil's princesa. The radio demon is there. <laughs> and that wasn't the first fucking thing you told me! Hey, killing Alistair is your kink. 
Is this something that they do often is kill each other and then they just kind of come back to do it again? Thanks for another forgettable experience. Thank you for letting your guard down. Ah, ah. Oh, shit. <laughs> what you doing, Leda? I love me a man with a giant tool. Look at how he flirts with that guy and he's not even paying. Fucking kill this whole fucking family. He has family? Angel has family. That is back. I thought he was gone for good too. It's been seven years. Seven seems to be the magic number people go away. I gotta send a message of who's really in charge of Wait, things. so Alistair left town and went where? Isn't there just hell? <laughs> I need a map. <laughs> Did he? I'm afraid you've lost your signal. Meanwhile. <laughs> oh, Alistair's. He's working out of the hotel. You wish that I'd stayed gone. Tune on in. And I thought Alistair was a warlord of some sort. Alistair is getting close to Little Princess Morningstar, so our main concern now is ensuring that no deal is ever struck between Lucifer's brat and that smiling freak. Put something inside them. That's how I get the bitches to behave. Do you think Angel would? That lanky prick won't even return my calls. Someone pathetic, desperate. I employ every down on their luck loser this side of hell. Who the fuck is left? Serpentius. Not a single new recruit. Who would want to use their last days not fucking and fighting? Why, hello! Yeah, who else? Wait, wait, wait! Mm -hmm. I come in peace! <laughs> Welcome to our home of healing, our resort of restoration! A resort of restoration, that sounds fabulous. And now you want to bring him in here to live with us? This place is about second chances, and who deserves one more than this? Aren't you supposed to protect this place? <sighs> I guess he's not Jeez. much. <laughs> this is the bar and the bartender. This is the curtain, and this is the new bar. Which is going to help you rehabilitate how? I'm just so excited to have our first real guest. Uh, what the hell am I then? have literally never once tried to improve it's just nice to have someone interested for once oh not hurt angel now with a new resident i think it's important we all get to know each other so we are going to play a little game everyone follow me my name is charlie i like to sing and when we get to know each other it's the greatest thing my name's Serpentius. I like to build. And despite my stupid egg boys, I think I'm very skilled. Egg boys. <laughs> I'm a bad man on the streets. Where's an innocent kid I can sell crack to? Wow. It's great, right? Keep going. Hey, you. <laughs> It'll make you cool like me. The crackhead. The only cool thing here is to say no to drugs. I'm off to not have sexual intercourse before marriage. At this rate, you'll be redeemed in no time. How does she know this? How does Charlie know this will work? You bitch, if you don't come home, you will be fucking greasy truckers for the next year. Hey, I'm Morcito. I didn't mean to yell, but you know how crazy you make me get you. <laughs> Marcito. You actually think you can change? Attic trash like you doesn't change. Sorry. Oh, Angel, no. <sighs> huh? 
This is how Angel, is Angel gonna get redeemed and we'll lose Angel, episode two? Get your aggressively average body off of me, fuck! <laughs> I would never betray you! Then explain this. Ah, abort! Abort! SOS! Agent Penn just in need of immediate- Abort, abort. Wait, you were caught? You do us a favor, if they don't kill you, Go ahead and do it yourself, you miserable failure! I... I... Well, that's harsh. But just make it quick, I guess. Oh, <laughs> it's so harsh. Pinches? So if they kill Pinches, where does he go? It starts with sorry. But sorry is where it starts. What happens if Charlie does enough that she's redeemed? Is she redeemable? If she's the child of Lilith and Lucifer? Sorry. I hated that song. Why are you so lame? Not a bad boy. <laughs> what? You'll have to try harder than that next time, old pal. <laughs> <laughs> So while this is adorable, I'm, I like to have a clear picture of the world and this world, I'm not exactly sure how it's, who's related, how, who and what and who. So we got Charlie, descendant from Lilith and Lucifer, her little friend group. But now we've got the Voxes or the Voxes, the V's, Vox Valentine and Valentino and Velvet Veda. Whomever. They're overlords. And Alistair was an overlord. And how do overlords become overlords? And where did these, these are, were former humans <laughs> that are now in hell? Were they over? See, that's why I'm getting lost. And should it matter to me? It does. Because <laughs> I like to know who to root for. I'm rooting for Charlie. Awesome, awesome. But how the others fit into the play with Angel's, like, how do they keep from being exterminated? Angel security, what the hell? I've got questions that I hope are answered going forward. The only other thing about this series so far is there was a few scenes where it was like orange and yellow and red on top of orange and yellow and red with some black, black breaking it up, but it wasn't breaking it up enough. I was getting plane on plane and not the dimension to see who was doing what and talking and moving it all with my eyes all started to look the same. So either hopefully that's something I will get used to or that will get smoothed out as other episodes become um, come out because I was losing track of who, what the action was. But the songs are adorable. I want Charlie to succeed, although I don't know how. Will we see a soul redeemed? And who will that be? An angel. Angel. If it's angels the first one <laughs> who unintentionally redeems themselves. Interesting. I don't know, but I'm having fun. Are you all having fun? Or are you feeling the same as I? I would love to know. So don't be strangers. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And in the meantime, before the next episode, go grab something to eat. And then you're going to come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all. And until next time.